everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining us here today. My name is Ryan Coleman. I'm the Director of Economic Development for the City of Columbia, and uh, we appreciate everybody coming out to join us for uh, another wonderful expansion announcement here. It may be a little overcast here in Columbia, South Carolina this afternoon, but things continue to shine bright down here at Hotel Trundle and in the Main Street District. It's my pleasure to introduce our speaker lineup uh, for this afternoon. Uh, first off, we're going to have Ms. Matt Pennell, President and CEO of the City Center Partnership. He'll be followed by Councilman Will Brennan, Representative for District 3. Uh, after him will be Mayor Daniel Rickman, uh, followed by John Scherer, Director of Historic Preservation at Historic Columbia. And then finally, our guest of honor today, uh, Ms. Rita Patel and Mr. Marcus Muncy, uh, owners extraordinaire of Hotel Trundle and now the Flutterway. And with that, I'll turn it over to you, Matt. Welcome to the Main Street District. It's so good to see you all today uh, to celebrate and really to celebrate what Marcus and Rita have meant uh, to the Main Street District uh, over the past years. Uh, when they came here and opened up the Hotel Trundle, we didn't really know what to expect. It was something new, something different, something creative, very creative, and uh, it just transformed uh, the Main Street District and expanded the Main Street District off of Main Street property. Uh, we're so excited they continue to grow, they continue to use their vast creativity to do what we're going to see today, the Flutter Wing. It is amazing space. I had a preview and just couldn't believe it. And um, I, I, my, I know my daughter got married last year and stayed at the Hotel Trundle and that was wonderful, but this is more wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're just very, very excited about that. And I just wanted to give a special thanks to uh, Rita and Marcus on behalf of the Main Street District and all the property owners and businesses uh, for continuing to do what they do and continuing to challenge us and grow with us. So on that, uh, let me turn it over to uh, Councilman Brennan and thank the City of Columbia and others for everything they can do in this project as well. Councilman. How's everybody doing today? Seems, I'd say at Columbia the vibes are great, the ribbon cuttings, it seems like there's one every week and that is a wonderful, fantastic thing. We believe in the city of Columbia and grow in our little economy. Behind me is kind of the intersection of old meets new, cool meets great. So Rita and Marcus, thank you again for taking the risk and investing in our downtown Main Street corridor. It's a wonderful hospitality district, all of our hospitality districts are vibing right now and we feel so good about that. I want to say a special, special thank you to, to Daniel Bone and his partner Matthew. Is this is this your first historic building you've done? You cried a little bit, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but that is the wonderful story of our Main Street, is the rehabilitation and the reuse of these wonderful old historic buildings. That that really is the the, the fabric of our history and it's so wonderful to enjoy it in new ways. I'm sure John's going to give you more uh, pitch on historic development. So uh, with that, I just again want to say thank you uh, to Daniel, Matthew, Rita, Marcus for believing in Columbia, believing in Main Street. We couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much and Mayor Rickman. It's, it's a beautiful day and, and I think Councilman Brennan, and he is Mayor Pro Tem, so you got to give him his dues. Uh, and uh, Ms. Wilson, our city manager, all of this wouldn't happen if we didn't have a great administrator staff. And our input of Ms. Wilson's here. Thank you. Because yes. she's letting us follow our dreams about building our city. But this is why Columbia is going to be the number one city in South Carolina. It's because people like Rita and Marcus, Daniel, and Matthew, for what they believe in and we are investing. And we're excited to be here for this ribbon cut today. Hopefully we'll be eating chicken soon. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of us are waiting for it to open back up. But this is what it's all about. So it, when you talk about historic preservation and, and a rebirth, and I think we will say the best, you know, kind of cool coming together, it's because of people pulling the history and then bringing a new life to it. And that's what's so exciting. And for those of you who haven't stayed at uh, Hotel Trundle or, or had guests stay there, the response is amazing. I had friends in Lexington here and they stayed there. And they couldn't stop talking about it. I just was there last night in Lexington with them and they were talking about when you can invite us back and can we stay in the same hotel that we stayed in. Not only because 
the staff was so great with accommodations, but they got to experience downtown Columbia, not only during the day, it's also the city that weekend, but at night, the people walking around, and everybody friendly, everybody pushing them somewhere, including the staff. When we have people make investments like this, and they continue to make investment after investment and believe in our community, that's why we're going to be successful. And that's why people are coming here. We're approaching 16 million visitors coming to our community. 16 million, think about that. It's incredible. But it's because of stories like this. Yeah, it's worth Come on, let's go. Historic District, in which we are currently standing, in the National Register of Historic Places. This designation marked a milestone in a collaboration between City Center Partnership and Historic Columbia, whose aim was to stimulate reinvestment within the commercial corridor and its surrounds. Inclusion in the National Register allowed owners of historic buildings deemed contributing to Columbia's architectural and cultural evolution to access tax credits and Bailey Bill abatements. And it provided their rehabilitation efforts uh, would make and meet federal standards. This designation has proved fruitful with initial projects bringing us such landmark businesses as Mass General Store. The district's footprint has been expanded twice since then, with the first boundary increase occurring seven years ago to this very day. That February 28th involved the inclusion of a property previously considered non-contributing due to a 1960s era slip cover facade that obscured its early 20th century character. The property in question, 1222-1224 Taylor Street. It's better known today and has since 2018 as Hotel Trundle. visionary owners Rita Patel and Marcus Munsey. As a creative extension of Hotel Trundle, the Flutterwing, which officially takes flight today, melds 21st century panache with the allure of more than 150 years of character embodied in a historic building that opened for business in January of 1871. What does this mean for our community? It means the Main Street District offers visitors and locals another genuinely unique, inspired, and dare I say fun destination for downtown lodging. It means enhancing our built environment through the rehabilitation of historic, finite cultural resources of which we are temporary stewards. It means more jobs. What you see before us is the latest in an ongoing transformation in Columbia's built heritage, which is preserved, has been preserved rather, through $33,334,770 in historic tax credits since 2001. Of that figure, 37% have occurred during the past decade within Main Street's National Register District. That represents not only a preserved past, but a significant and unprecedented investment in our shared future. Please join me in offering heartfelt congratulations to Rita's, Rita and Marcus on this, the latest incarnation of their investment in Columbia. You will see how their efforts and those of fellow small business owners prove that historic preservation is a key driver in the economic vitality of South Carolina's capital city. Thank everybody enough for being out here today for the 
support of our, our family that's come here and traveled in to see this, the support of our the city, the unwavering support that, that they've provided to us. Uh, for Daniel and Matthew reaching out, providing this opportunity, paying for it. That was nice too. <laughs> um, and we're really excited for everybody to see this. Um, it's a great addition to Hotel Trundle and Reed has done a phenomenal job with the, the design and uh, I think everybody's really gonna love it. We're gonna, just wanna Yeah. Again, I just wanna um, repeat what Marcus said. Thank you all so much being here and I'm looking out at the crowd and I see so many familiar faces that have always supported us and helped us out over the years and I cannot thank you enough for that. I might start crying but I want to give my, my family like, another shout out because without their support and uh, encouragement I don't know who would be standing here today. All of our local partners and the city always helping us and just Everybody, Columbia, we came here kicking and screaming. I've said this so many times, and I hope that this helps people realize they don't need to kick and scream in Columbia, that this is a place to stay and settle and uh, create roots. Yeah.